So I'm hoping it's going to be cheesy, cheesy, cheesy. Hello, welcome back once again to Rob's Homemade and Reviews inside the kitchen. We have been to Aldi's. We love a bit of Aldi here at Rob's Homemade, literally because, as you already know, if you're new to this channel, my Aldi is literally a stone's throw from my house to the end of the street. If you're not new to this channel, you know where it is already. So we decided to go for a peruse around and see what was new. And I spotted these. Well, actually, I first spotted them on TikTok. They do a normal mac and cheese, a pulled pork mac and cheese, and the one we have today. Inspired cuisine, truffle flavour mac and cheese, guys. I love a bit of mac and cheese. I don't have it very often, but when I do, I normally enjoy it. So when I saw these and I seen them on TikTok, people trying them, I thought, Got to see what flavours I've got in my local out there. They had the plain, and I thought, nah. I did look for the pulled pork, couldn't find it. But we found the truffle one, so I'm happy. I've got at least one of the flavours. So let's have a quick look around the packet. Like I said, inspired cuisine, truffle flavour mac and cheese. Cooked pipe regatta pasta in a cheese and truffle flavour sauce topped with cheddar cheese and mozzarella cheese and a parsley and cheese crumb. So I'm hoping it's gonna be cheesy, cheesy, cheesy. Um, the ingredients are quite small, so I can't quite make them out. So we're gonna to have to leave that. It's 300 grams. Cooking instructions only tells you to make I'm assuming you could probably do this in the oven, which I would normally do, but for this video, I'm gonna go microwave. And you don't hear me say that very often because I'm hungry and I want to eat now. So I am going to microwave this, which I might regret, because I've always said, if you microwave stuff instead of oven, sometimes it can leave a little tinge to it. Hopefully not, hopefully it's going to be good. So let's see if I can make out any of these ingredients. Truffle flavor sauce, 22%. Cheese, the cheese sauce, 37%. Obviously your pasta, black truffle, virgin olive oil. This that looks like it's going to be decent. So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna crack this bad boy. Let's just slide the sleeve off so you can see. I don't wanna break the sleeve. I don't like it. Here we go. So it looks a half decent portion. You could probably split this between two people if you was to have something else with it. I don't know what, some chicken or something, chicken breast or something like that with a, a side of mac and cheese truffle flavor. So there we are. That's what it looks like. So I'm gonna go and bang this in the microwave for du, 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 five minutes and see where we end up. So hopefully in about five minutes time, guys, I'll be back with the truffle mac and cheese out of the microwave, give it a smell test, sit down and eat. See you soon, guys. Right, guys, our truffle mac and cheese has had its five minutes. Let's peel it back. Oh, nice and steamy hot. Mmm, smell that truffle. Ooh, give it a stir. It's had a bit of a mix up guys, so it don't look very appetizing. Looks a bit like a uh, baby food, but hey ho. So let's place that over there and get ready to tuck in. So our inspired cuisine, truffle flavor mac and cheese, guys. Right, guys, this has had a few minutes to cool down. So we're gonna crack it on with our inspired cuisine, truffle flavored mac and cheese. Mmm. Smell rating. It's gonna get a seven, because you get that lovely, lovely truffle smell. So let's tuck in. Yeah, it's cooled down a bit, so it's got a bit blue, people. Doesn't matter. This cheese is really stringy. That mozzarella. Mm. Mm. 
You get that lovely truffle taste, the same as you smell. It's a little bit cheesy, but it could do with more seasoning. It's, it's apart from the truffle taste and a bit of cheese, it's quite bland. Mm. The past is nicely cooked. You can taste the different cheeses, and like I say, you get a strong truffle, truffle taste. But apart from that, it's just lacking a little something. Don't know if it's seasoning, it's flavour. I'm glad I didn't buy the plain mac and cheese, because if this is anything to go by, that plain one's going to be terrible. The poor pork one would probably be better with a meaty taste. As a side dish, next to something else, it'd probably be okay. It is quite creamy. Like I said, the pasta is nice. The truffle taste is lovely. But I'm not overly impressed with this one from Aldi. It's not something that's making me jump up and go, oh, this is tasty, this is lovely. It's pretty bang average for a mac and cheese. I've had better mac and cheeses. All in all, I'm gonna give it a flavor rating of 6.5. Because it, it, like I said, the truffle taste is there. You get the two different cheeses, the mozzarella and the cheddar but it's just lacking seasoning in all. I don't know if they've left it out because they thought the truffle would do the job, but it's just not hitting the spot at all. I would like to try the barbecue pork one, just to see if the barbecue pork makes a difference to the mac and cheese and flavors, which I'm sure it would do. But all in all, I'd say as a side dish, it'll probably be okay. Just eating it like this, it's, it's definitely not inspiring me at all. It's, it's edible, it's half enjoyable. If that makes sense. I'm gonna eat it all, because I paid for it, and I've cooked it. Well, I've microwaved it. But like I said, all in all, it doesn't inspire me to go, yeah, that was good, that was tasty, it was flavoursome, because it, it, it wasn't really. Such a shame, because when I saw these, I thought mac and cheese with truffle, that's going to be banging, it's going to be lovely, it's going to be flavoursome. It's got to be a thumbs down, and it's very rare I give Aldi products a thumbs down, very rare at all, if you watch my videos back. Most Aldi products are pretty damn good. So anyway, nah, not again. I definitely won't be buying it. If I'm going Aldi again, which I will do probably in a couple of days time, and the pulled pork one's there, I'll probably pick that one up just to give that one a try. I'll definitely bypass the plane and the truffle again. But anyway, it is what it is. I've tried it. I'll know better for next time. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. When you hit the subscribe button, don't forget the notification bell. Click all, and you'll get every single notification from me, Rob, and Rob's homemade. Excuse me. So from me, Rob, and a poor mac and cheese from Aldi's. Sorry, guys. Can't give you a thumbs up every time, because that's not how this channel works. So thank you very much for watching. Peace.